Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. If you don't know me, hi, how are you? My name is Rosa. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications. To stay updated on when I do post new videos, I post every Tuesday, Saturday, and a couple days in between. So I'm gonna get started in today's video because I wanna share with you guys how to become a medical laboratory technician. So you become an MLT, ASCP. Okay, so the way and why I am talking about this is because I wanna share with you guys how you can become a medical laboratory technician. So what you need to become an MLT is an associate's degree. And the application fee to apply to become one is $215. This is through the ASCP, the American Society of Clinical Pathology. And you need to take their exam, the board of certification exam, in order to be eligible to sit for this exam in order to become a medical laboratory technician. So to be eligible for this examination category, an applicant must satisfy the requirements of at least one of the following routes. There are four routes that you can take, and I'm gonna be teaching you and going step-by-step step through these routes in order so you can know how to become one. So route one, you need an associate's degree or 60 semester hours, which equals to 90 quarter hours of academic credit from a college university accredited by a recognized regional or national accreditation agency. So basically you need an associate's degree for route one, and you need a successful completion of a NACLS or ABHES accredited MLT program within the last five years. So you have to also go through a program with one of these accredited MLT programs in order to be eligible for Route 1. And you have to do it within five years because if after five years, the ASCP will determine if you are still able and eligible to sit for the exam. So you gotta kinda take it in some short time frame. So don't hold off on taking that exam after you graduate from your associates and are in that program. So route two, I don't think this is eligible anymore. No, we're gonna skip route two because this was discontinued in 1982. So that was kind of a bit ago, you guys. So we're gonna skip fully through route two. If you wanna know, learn about route two, I'll link it in my description. I'll have the link of this, what I'm reading right here. This is exactly from the ASCP website. So don't worry about route two, you guys. We're just going to skip on through that. Okay, route three. You need an associate's degree or 60 semester hours or 90 credit hours. That's what it's equivalent to. From a regionally accredited college or university with six semester hours, nine quarter hours in chemistry, and six semester hours, nine quarter hours in biology. And you also need a successful completion of a 50-week U.S. military medical laboratory training course within the last 10 years. It doesn't say you need any experience working, so that's good, it's pretty quick. If you're in the military, you guys, you just have to complete your course and then have your associate's degree or 60 hours in the sciences, so not too bad. And then for route four, this is our last route, you guys. So you need an associate's degree or 60 semester hours, which is the equivalent of 90 quarter hours from an accredited regionally 90 quarter hours of academic credit from a regionally accredited college or university with six semester hours, nine quarter hours in chemistry and six semester hours or nine quarter hours in biology. And you also need for route four, three years of full-time acceptable clinical experience in blood banking, chemistry, hematology, microbiology, immunology, and urinalysis, body fluids in an accredited laboratory within the last six years. So you need, yeah, your clinical experience and basically some type of work experience as well to take it from this route. So they are a little bit lengthier if you wanna become these through not the traditional way, which is just taking the accredited MLT program as well as your associate's degree. So the rest do take a little bit longer, but honestly, it is very worth it if you are interested in pursuing this career. As an MLT, I do want you guys to know that you're not making as much money as a medical laboratory scientist. Medical laboratory scientists do make more money. So that is something to be aware about if you wanna consider going back to school or if you know you can't go back to school or you have other life things going on in the way. But you have your associates in science. These are the ways that you can become one. And if you want to maybe take an extra year, try to take the MLT program, you do that one to two years. I think it depends on the program, how long the length is. So make sure you do your research on that. Or if you're in the military and you see like, hey, I have these science courses and I just need to complete that program, that's something you're able to do. So these are all the ways that you are able to become a medical laboratory technician. 
and I hope that you guys are able to gain some knowledge from this video. I want to be able to help you guys out. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're an MLT, what kind of videos you want to see from me. I feel like I want to include more MLT videos in this series because not everyone is a scientist. I understand that. So I want to be able to, you know, spread some of that knowledge in order for you if you want to become an MLT and you have these criteria, but you're not worried about getting paid a little less, this is an easy way to do so. So if, I'm gonna link this in my description for you guys. I got this from the ASCP Board of Certification website. That way, if you wanna just read through it yourself and maybe you need a little bit more clarification, go ahead and ask me some questions. I'm gonna leave this for you guys to print out or read from online if you're interested. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the comment section down below any questions or concerns, comments you may have. And also give me some video ideas, you guys. What more videos do you want to see from me? I am always happy to hear feedback requests. And if they're reasonable, I'm definitely interested in doing them. Or if it's something that kind of pertains to my channel, I'll definitely consider them. Please leave some down below. I hope this was really helpful, you guys. I want to be an advocate for clinical laboratory scientists, medical laboratory technicians. Uh, just to be, you know, that face for the field. Because there's not a lot of information out there that comes from actual people and most of it's just from the um, certification website which is not bad at all of course you know i love that i was able to get this from online but i want to hear from people's experiences i know a lot of other people do when i was in the program i didn't really get to hear many other people's experience because there's not a lot on youtube so i figured once i became one why don't i do it myself so thank you guys again so much for watching this video please make sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification to stay updated on when i do post new videos i post every tuesday and saturday and subscribe hit the like button and thank you guys again so much and i hope you have an awesome day